So how do you wake up a passed out Uber passenger? If you're a driver, you would need to watch this video. What's up guys, your driver Mike here, back with another video. This channel is dedicated to the rideshare space, so if you're a driver, a passenger, or someone just interested in the rideshare space, consider subscribing. So as a part-time Uber and Lyft driver, I have hours and hours and thousands of rides driving the late night bar hour after 10 p.m. I've had a few of these scenarios and these are my tips for you. So let's explain when this may happen when you're on the road. Certainly, if you're driving those late night bar hours, the risk of having passengers pass out, fall asleep in the back of your car are exceptionally higher. Firstly, let's talk about some very important tips about what not to do. The number one rule and one that you really need to drive home and remember when driving is to not touch your passengers. Now, while it may seem very easy to simply shake or touch your passengers awake, this is certainly not advisable for liability reasons. Ensure that you do not touch, shake, carry your passengers, or drive your vehicle to other locations for assistance. Remember, as a driver, you really don't know why your passenger passed out during the ride. I'm gonna give you some other tips to follow for this scenario. Upon reaching your passenger's destination, the first thing you wanna do is turn on your interior lights. Turn on your interior lights. Sometimes this can wake up your passengers and also announce that you've arrived at your destination. If you haven't done so already, make sure to direct your dash camera to the interior of the vehicle for these next few steps. If you currently don't have a dash camera, it's certainly highly advisable to get one. If you're driving for rideshare, I'll post a few of my top recommendations down below in the description. Remember, you've already announced that you've arrived and you've turned on the interior lights. The next step is to announce yet again that you've arrived, this time in a louder tone. Announce that you've arrived at your destination with more force and more volume. This coupled with your interior lights may wake your passenger. One small and inexpensive accessory that I recommend to drivers is an LED flashlight. In our next step, use this LED flashlight or simply the flash on your phone and direct even more light towards your passenger. At this point, if your passenger has still not woken up, our next tip is to sound your vehicle's horn. A combination of the lights within the vehicle and you as the driver loudly announcing that you've arrived in combination with your vehicle's horn hopefully will wake up your passenger. If all these steps have proved unsuccessful in waking your passenger, considering playing music over your car's stereo. Now let's talk about the absolute worst case if you've tried all the tips listed here above and your passenger will still not wake up. Remember our number one tip, it is not advisable to touch your passengers. In this case, you will need to dial 911. This is the most advisable option when all the tips listed here fail to wake your passenger, having a professionally trained policeman or other staff is the best way to go. I hope these tips helped you out when you're on the road with Uber or Lyft. If you have any other questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Your driver Mike here, I do appreciate you watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to join your driver team, and I will see you in the next one.